Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome today to Canada. I'm in Toronto, downtown Toronto, in front of Union Station, where predictably the weather today is not so great. It's been a while since I was last here in Canada. In fact, the last time was six years ago on the Gumball 3000, when we stopped on the way from New York, going all the way across coast to coast to Los Angeles. But this time I'm back because a car that I have coming very soon is going to be built this week. However, today is an action-packed day. Thanks to Saturn, who runs Saturn's Drives, the local supercar club and rallies and all sorts of activities, he's lined me up with a pretty busy schedule ahead, including, as he puts it, an Uber that's going to be coming to pick me up today to take me around to a few things, including the Schmeeting later on at Faf McLaren Toronto, the McLaren dealer out here. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be no ordinary Uber, but hopefully in a moment it will turn up and we will see what comes. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting some pretty foul weather. It feels like I've not even left the UK, but I can hear the noise behind me of the car, the Uber that is arriving here. What do we have? There it is, a Napier Green McLaren 675 LT Spider, bang on theme for today's activities. The driver is Kevin, I'll pop his Instagram link down below. This car looks very out of place in today's weather right now. The colour is awesome. This was launched on the 675 LT. Obviously, I have one of these back at home. 675 Spider. I had no idea what car was coming. Just quickly take a look around the back. F1 legend. Nice. Right, let me uh, avoid the puddles. Probably try and find somewhere I can actually jump into the car up ahead. Because this weather is uh, not so good right now. Awesome. So, goodness me. Right, let's open the door. Hi Kevin, how you doing? Hey Tim, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Your Uber has arrived. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for saving me from this uh, atrocious weather right now. Oh, bail out of the rain. Yeah, don't judge That's Canada good. by this weather. No. Well, here we are. Downtown Toronto, getting today's journey started. Goodness me. I wanted to pick you up in a familiar car for yourself. Yeah, well I appreciate it a lot. Your help, Saturn's help as well, arranging stuff today. Yeah, we're happy to have you here. It's going to be good times. Thank you very times. much. Thank you. Appreciate it a lot. I guess it would have been good to see the city by uh, that bright sunshine and daylight, but alas. We'll still have a fun time. It's yeah, going to be a great I'm day. I'm sure, I'm sure. So how long have you had this car? I've had this since uh, April, so about uh, okay. six or seven months. So you had the summer with it? Yes. Yeah, nice. before that I had a 650 and then a 12C, so kind okay, of similar Okay, so you're a bit like you. me, McLaren. Yeah, man. I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you loving it as much as I am? Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's such a great car. Not great in the rain, but uh, no, yeah, certainly you've got great your, on the track. You've got your Fawaz on as well. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, practice in the rain today. <laughs> <laughs> very, very brave choice. I'm guessing you'll swap those out for winter, or you'll just not drive the car. I just won't drive in the car, okay. yeah. No. How, how much? Do you get a lot of snow out here? It's not too bad, it depends on the year. Last year it snowed a lot, the year before it only snowed like four times. Okay. Uh, but we do get down to, we can get minus 40 wind chill here so it can get Whoa. pretty cold. Yeah. yeah, not so good. Yeah. Well anyway, we're off, a little bit of a, a tour around, and uh, check out Toronto. There are a few things on the agenda today, but we are driving past the Ford plant for Ford Canada, in the headquarters. Here we are though, in the LT. Fortunately the rain has taken a little setback, which means actually we can press the button down here. Do you ever do this? Open up the rear window. Yes, all the time. That is exactly what we like. I like the uh, embroidery in the headrest, stitching in your car. It's not a bad Uber really, this. Probably get a, uh, it might be, might be on for a good rating, this. Yeah, that's right. Five stars, I'll see, see what I like it. We've arrived at the first stop then on my Uber tour of Toronto, if I can keep calling it an Uber tour in the 675 LT. But behind me is Angelo Paletta's Car Cathedral. Inside this magnificent building is his incredible collection, particularly Ford focused, very much on theme with my trip here to Toronto. So let's head inside and take a look around. All right then, here we are, the man cave. Let's head on in. Angelo, hey, how, how are you doing? You? Nice to see you. Welcome nice to, to see Canada. You Welcome to Toronto. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Come on into the car cathedral. I'm looking forward to this. I know behind this door, you have quite a special little collection. Most of the cars are here, unfortunately. Not all of them are here today, but enter. Thank you very much. Here we are. Take a look at this. Wow. There's a lot going on in here. 
Yes, there's memorabilia everywhere. There's stuff signed by lots of people. Uh, lots of different cars. Of course, the two Ford GTs, both Canadian spec cars, 2006. Uh, this one signed by Carol Shelby. This was the first one I got. A lot of work done on the car. The car this is, so you have two because you drive this one. I drive this one. I bought that one for spare parts. No, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I bought that one for an investment. But okay. God forbid anything happens, it's spare parts. How many miles on it? This has 29 miles on it. It had 24 and a half miles on when I got the car. It was actually one of the cars that Ford tested off the uh, assembly line. Never been plated. Uh, it's all original. Uh, full Canadian spec car. Uh, Completely. As you can see, it's even got the plastic on the seat. It's Packaged the up. Stickers on the, on the uh, window. <laughs> Canadian flag in the center. Canadian flag. The windshield um, has everything inside, the car cover's still inside, the manuals, and so forth. Absolutely, as new. Here's a neat piece for you to see. Yeah. So, as you know, Camilo designed this car. Uh -huh. So, I was at the, 20, at the 10th anniversary <laughs> of Ford, uh, yeah. got the shirt there, wore this to the dinner, and Camilo was kind enough to actually draw this on the shirt while I was wearing it. He drew that to the back. Yes. <laughs> maybe it's a new design for the new, maybe 2017, I'm not sure, 2016 Ford GT. <laughs> but, uh, so he drew that. Very cool, very I was cool. Wearing, so, really neat. Looking around, I love the, uh, the guy in the suit. Yeah, so that's the uh, full, you know, race suit from Sparkle that the race car drivers for Ford wear. Uh, custom made uh, for me by Sparkle. Shoes, fully fireproof suit, carbon fiber helmet, I got the Hans device, out yeah. there, the gloves. That really works, by the way, it's really good. Um, and if you don't have the five foot harnesses, this is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, it's attached to your yeah, body. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to take everything in around here. This you is need a about 12 hours place. of, of yeah. being able to take everything it, it, in. It feels like it. You've got a lot going on. Well, here's another thing. Here's really interesting. Here's mm -hmm. an actual layout from the plant when they built the Ford GT. Okay. And you actually see the little Ford GTs yeah, yeah, yeah. in the production line. <laughs> That's really cool. And that was from the plant, from Celine. Amazing. A bit different to the new plant. Well, so, yes. so we do have right here a picture yes. of your new GT. It's that's not right. here right now, sadly. That, and that's when it was naked, before I actually put the decals on it and made mm -hmm. the Golf uh, David Hobbs tribute car number seven. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I'm just going to say at this point, you have driven a lot. You've done a lot of miles in your new car. Yes, I've driven uh, 9,400, over 9,400 kilometers already. Been to Mossport okay. twice with the car. Yeah. The tail of the dragon three times okay. with the car. <laughs> uh, hit almost two Gs in some of those corners. And, I'm uh, looking forward to doing that. <laughs> the car handles fantastic. It's, it's a great car. So what else do we have going on then? Uh, Mini Cooper S convertible, the John Works package, my wife's car. Boss 302 Laguna Seca has the roll cage built into this car. Uh, I do track this car, five point harness. Yeah. No back seat. <laughs> of course, I got another Golf GT bag. That fits. That's all that mm -hmm. fits in the trunk of the GT bag. Yeah, right? so that's, that's the like fitted luggage. Yes. <laughs> to go with your chassis number. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's it. You can, and of course, you can cook a lasagna in there because it gets so yeah. hot. But, okay. Uh, don't put yeah. anything in there like makeup because it'll melt. Not the best road trip car. No. So. And then I got a 2009 Chevy KR, one of only 22 in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, the last post-production car that Shelby did, unfortunately, before he passed away. Supercharged. Then I have the Cobras. Yeah. Uh, so this is a Superformance Cobra 2001, third one in Canada, I'm running at 390, 351 stroke to 427, and uh, got 36,000 miles on this car. It's all wow. original paint. And then one of my pride and joys is this all aluminum, uh, number two of only 12 American made cars. Okay, all right? only 12. Only 12, this is number two. Because as most people know, the cars were built by AC out of, AC out of England and later on something out of Poland. Um, but this one's actually fully built in the US, but it gets hot. It's all <laughs> aluminum and if you drive this in the winter, melt the snow as I'm going down the road. Oh really? <laughs> Wow, what a wonderful place. And, and uh, I have uh, the second floor, yeah. 50 style diner. It's Christmas every day with the Christmas tree. <laughs> I have a catwalk. You have, you have some ramps, you have yeah, your workshop. Lifts, uh, I got my own washer and dryer, so I have to dirty the ones in the house. My wife really loves that. <laughs> what? Lots of parts and pieces. I actually, anything I take off the car, I keep that's original. Okay. I use it as wall art. Yeah, and, and just model for GTs everywhere. Everywhere. Remote control cars. <laughs> Spotting like on this shelf. 
you've just got like <laughs> endless dreamland. What a man cave, fantastic place. Bill Ford signed this. Oh, Edsel cool. Ford, Henry Ford III. Amazing. Very, very nice. Well, thank you very much for allowing us to come and have a look around. Oh, 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 let's go. All right then. So, this is uh, a GT40. You can see by the license plate 1070. Uh, nice tribute. And uh, made by CAV out of South Africa. Right hand drive, right hand shift. 98% uh, accurate to the car that won Le Mans in 68 and 69. Yeah, and uh, the only car that ever won Le Mans twice. That's right. True bundle of snakes, the 48 IDA Webers. Wow. Stainless steel chassis, so it won't rust. Wow, that's really nice. Golf tribute to the car that won Le Mans twice in 1968 69. That's right. Wearing number nine and then number six. And as we all know, Ford has come out now with the new yep. Heritage for 2019, and uh, they came out with the Golf livery. Yeah. Uh, for the 2019 model year. Unbelievable. And your Nissan GTR alongside. Of course, this <laughs> is another track car I use on the track. And uh, this is the track edition, 2017. Mm -hmm. A little bit of work, but on 600 torque at the wheels and 570 horse okay. at the wheels. And uh, yeah. it's heavy, but it's a lot of fun to drive. Amazing. Well, thank you very much for allowing us in. Appreciate thank it you for a lot. Thank Appreciate you. you coming down. Appreciate it big time. It is time then to depart, to jump back into the LT Spider. So let's just hear it firing up. All right then, wing in action. So let's hop on in and we will depart to the next stop. And we're back in the Uber then. I'm working hard on my five stars. I mean, so, so far going pretty well, but what a collection. Angelo is a true Ford and GT enthusiast. Unbelievable, like so much history on that car. He's a great guy, super passionate. Really cool to see him. And that man cave, the memorabilia, that's like my dream future kind of thing. Just being able to pull together everything from the cars that I have my GT when it comes. And I've certainly taken in a little bit of inspiration from him on that. Anyway, we're gonna continue now towards our next destination. Well, it's actually now completely dried up, but the good news is my Uber driver is gonna get me there early. We're gonna be 10 minutes early. It's part of my five-star commitment. I have to get my customers there on time. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we're heading to Faf McLaren, McLaren dealer here in Toronto, who are hosting this afternoon's meeting. And then I'm also going to pick up a car from them later on too. So we'll get there, catch up with some of you guys, and have a look around, because a little birdie has told me there should be some pretty awesome cars there as well. We're arriving. Some guys here. Inside Auto Park Circle, where the dealer, Faf McLaren dealer, is just up this way. I can see a few folks around and a few cars around as well. Here we go then, when we squeeze on through. How you doing? Hey, buddy, doing <laughs> Woo. Right, let me jump nice out. <laughs> hey, we've got a few cool cars around. I didn't really notice as we were driving in. We've got a Mercy, a Gallardo, an Aventador. Alrighty. Woo. How's everyone doing? Thanks for having me guys, awesome turnout, thank you, appreciate it. It's just started raining outside, so we have all come inside at the dealership, but everybody on the count of three, let's have a cheers. One, two, three. Woo! Awesome, thank you everyone. Quick pop outside then for a moment to have a look at some of the cars that are here today, and there are an awful lot dotted around, some very nice cars, of course many McLarens. This Liberty Walk, I think, Aventador right here in gold, we've got the Hurricane, just look at this sea of colour and bright cars and that's pretty nice. 488, this AMG GTR I'm going to come straight through to. That Hurricane wraps a bit crazy. 570 Spider, 720s from the dealership here, bright yellow uh, M3 at the back. Obviously lots of McLarens. It's a big thanks to the guys here at Faf McLaren for making this possible. I brought everyone out with me chasing to come and do some pictures and say hello. But yeah, all looking very, very cool. Oh, look, there's a Viper ACR at the back. Nice, nice lineup of cars right now. Has to be said, good job Toronto. Crazy, crazy number of nice cars. For a bit of fun, I'm with Jesse, who has asked me to sign the bonnet of his car, where there are some other YouTubers as well, there right? Some other YouTubers under here. So who do we have? So oh, that is Stradman. Anthony from Mad Whips. Yeah, yeah. Both Stradman, Damon, and Dave from yeah. Daily Driven Exotics when they were here. Um, Dr. M3. Oh, cool. And then this one is actually Nakai-san. 
Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I was with a friend and we ended up going out for dinner when I rescued a car that broke down and it was it was pretty cool. So oh, okay. that was cool. So I'm gonna cool. add my name to your uh, to your list somewhere. Why are we gonna do sir, this? Take some prime real estate. I will. Let's uh let's let's go should I go for in here? Should I Wherever try? You want. Like try and lean over and, and get this. Uh, this concerned. might be quite <laughs> difficult. Let's do it in Whatever here. Works. Woo! Done. Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank That's you, cool. Sir. Take a look at some of the cars that are turning up. A GT3 has just gone past. That is very nice. And this way, past the Targa, is, well, a bit of a tank. That's quite frankly ridiculous. We're surrounded though by beautiful cars. Thanks everyone who's come out with nice cars today. Really cool. Can GTS, just going for a blast away there. A few of the cars are heading out. 720S on the roll, 570. See ya. <laughs> Good. Lots of cool cars around. The M3 coming through. This is a good colour, it has to be said. Unfortunately, it just started drizzling again. Up it goes. Look at that. Beautiful. It needs to be a bit louder. <laughs> that thing is ridiculous. What a kit. Sounds awesome. <laughs> so some of the cars have gone, but we've still got lots of the cars lined up around here. We're going to have a bit of a noise off in a second. I do like that 488. That is GTR. The noise of the turbo. Of course, the car we've been in. This is nice, a nice Aventador S Roadster. Noisy cars. Hey, look at the stripe on the uh, 570 there. R8 at the back. And this thing is particularly loud as well. And then, that's a Knight XV, by the way. The uh, crazy big truck at the back. That's just funny. Instagram chat, happy hippie. And that car, you will also see in an upcoming YouTube video on the channel. We are joined today by the Veloce Cream Club, and a lot of their cars are now parked, engines on, warmed up, and we're gonna have a bit of noise. So, if you're ready, guys, Let's hear some noise! <laughs> <laughs> I <hear> they're <laughs> Well, that was pretty crazy and very loud, and now all those guys are going to head on out. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, the car's heading on out. Nice crackles, GTR. Got some great cars here today. <laughs> Grand Turismo. This is mean. Z06. Lots of you asked me about the Performantes. This is the Gallardo Performante, where it was the convertible version of the Superleggera. It's a nice colour too. See so, ya. Yeah.
joined by an AMG GTS behind there as well. Check out this design. Thank you very much. No worries, thanks for coming along. This is cool. What a place as well. Sticks RS. Lots of love for the RS, of course. This was so ridiculously loud. Yep, it's still ridiculously loud. Everywhere it goes. Next up then, the car that they're very kindly allowing me to drive, the white 570 GT. Now I don't think I've spent time with a 570 GT itself with the larger storage area in the rear since I drove one at the launch event in Tenerife. So I'm looking forward to experiencing this over the weekend. A big thanks to these guys for the opportunity and I will show you all around the car. Perfect plate for the car. Very, very nice car, that actually. He's putting it away. So, things more or less coming to an end then today. Look at that. When it came out, the looks were, I think, considered debatable, but now it's a stunning car. The 570 GT, though, that I'll be driving again, thanks to the guys here. That's really, really appreciated. Also, a huge thanks to Kevin, my Uber driver for the day in the 675 LT. I think he deserves five stars. We've had a good time, an amazing time visiting Angelo, checking out his collection, coming here for the Schmeeting. To be honest, the welcome in Toronto has been fantastic. So thank you, everyone who is here. Thank you, everyone who is watching. I appreciate your support so very much. And now, for me, I'll hopefully tell you more about this in the coming days, but otherwise, <laughs> There's a lot more to come still from the rest of this trip. Off goes the 570S Spider as well. What I was going to say is now for me that I'll hopefully tell you more about this car in the coming days and what it's like. But that's it for this time, guys. Thanks to Kevin. Thanks to the guys here at McLaren Toronto. Thanks to you. And I'll catch up with you again very, very soon. Cheers.